Hello and welcome back to the farm. We are currently resting and we should jump right into January here in just a second. Hopefully it is not snowing today. So we will have a clear sky. Nice. And 2600 for vehicle leasing. I think that that is because we potentially used the stone picker for over an hour. Let's, let's take a look here. If we go to stone pickers per work hour. That is what we paid originally. I'm a little bit confused. It is probably right though, but anyways, we are in January and our fields are looking great. Except for these weeds that I seem to have missed. Let me take care of that real quick before they grow bigger. I'm not sure how I missed those, but I'm not happy about it. Our fields are looking very, very clean though after the stone picking. I did the stone picking uh, in the night. Which was actually not as painful as I thought it would be. It was a little bit because I could barely see anything. But it could have been a lot worse. And there we go. Now it's looking good. This confuses me though. Okay, so we are making letters as you can see right here. We have 338 liters. We are storing it as soon as we have... A thousand liters, um, it will turn into pallets of letters right here. So eventually we will have pallets. I just thought it would be a little bit quicker than this, but that's all right. Not too bad. So first things first, let us check the used machinery market. Ooh, if only we had that money. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that's a way bigger harvester than the one we have now. Unfortunately, not something that we can afford any of this. Speaking of a fort though, I believe it is the day where we will be selling the potatoes. Because if we look at the price fluctuation, we're in January and the price should be the, at its best. So let's take a look at the prices here. The best price is Goldcrest Valley. The only issue with that is that it is uh, via the train. And I don't think that uh, renting the train is basically $1,000. I don't think we would make that money uh, back. I want to make as much as possible. I don't know if we would make it back if we if we use the train. I have decided I we're actually not going to make as much money as I was hoping for. But we will not be using the train because I don't think it would be worth it. Not with the amount of potatoes we have here. We would be losing money if we did. So we'll be taking these potatoes over to... What was the place called again? Feed and Grain South. Alright, here we are. We are finally selling the potatoes. I don't think we're going to get a great deal of money from this, but... We shall see. All right, let's unload and watch it in person. Oh wow, that's gonna take ages. <laughs> that's gonna take ages, isn't it? Well, I guess we're sat here waiting, watching the money go up. I forgot to change the way it actually got um, unloaded. Yeah. All right, here we go. Five thousand and eighty-two dollars. Not bad. We did use more money on leasing the potato equipment, but it was still a fun experience. Now, on the other hand, we finally have the trailer free <laughs> to put stuff in. And I think with the potatoes on the ground, we're just going to pretend that we have had them in a, in like a big potato bag or something. We would want a front loader on this thing eventually anyway, so we might as well. Here we have our field 47 and apparently I've missed some weeds in this as well. Alright, I will have to deal with that too. Alright. I wish the roads were busier on this map. I really wish they were. I would make it a little bit f more fun. Alright, I'm gonna leave the trailer there. 
and we will go and attach a front loader to the tractor. I don't know how much the extension to get to get the extension on the tractor is actually going to cost, but hopefully it's not going to be too bad. We are doing all right for money, and speaking of money, I should probably get a. You can't just do that. Lunatic. Ay ay ay. Anyway. I, I, oh yeah, speaking of money, I want to see if there's any good contracts we can easily set a worker to do. Just to get a little bit extra cash. Let's see here. Alrighty, so a little bit of an issue I found out, and that is that I already had a front loader attached. Uh, not a front loader, but like the, the extension here, if we go into customize. This, the front loader attacher, I had already that attached. And I have, there's a simple explanation for this, and that is when I... A few episodes ago, I think I explained it in episode 2, I basically had to move my, uh, my stuff to a new save, which included the tractor, and in the very old save, I had bought the front loader attacher, but I didn't actually realize it was on. So we have actually had it on uh, this whole time, but I just now... Uh, took the money from as if if I had bought this I checked the price and everything so Yeah, that explains that so We just got the front loader attacher now what I need to do is I need to head into front loaders here, and this is the brand I chose and We're just gonna go with the cheapest one here. I think because Yeah, and then if we go into combinations There's a bunch of stuff here. Ooh, that's nice. But not worth it. We need this. The universal bucket. And we will buy it. We might as well buy it. It is cheap enough, cheap enough for us to be able to buy it. It, it sells new vehicles. I would rather call it new equipment. <laughs> Alrighty. So. Should then be able to attach this. Yeah, look at that. Very, very cool. And then if we go over here. And boom! Look at that! I should be able to use this to attach, not attach, to pick up the potatoes and put it in the trailer so we can sell them. It's not gonna be a whole lot of money earned from that small pile, but it will be something. And this front loader attacher is going to be very very handy in the future when we need to start moving pallets like pallets of letters and stuff like that In fact, I might buy the pallet fork now and move the seed bag away from the from the shop parking lot I think they are a little bit tired of having that there So that is probably something that I will do as soon as we have sold the final potatoes here Alrighty turn in here I need to remember, I need to remove the, the weed from uh, that other field. Now let's see if I can handle this properly. I've used a thing like this in real life, so I should be able to do this. <laughs> Only difference is, I wasn't using a mouse. Alright, so we got a full bucket load, so we have at least a thousand liters, which is good. Uh, so let's lift that up. I think I'll be able to see this. Oh, we have that extension on that. That might be a... Uh-oh. Can that fit? Is that gonna... Make it over? Just about. And there we go. I believe that those are all the potatoes. Nice. So we'll probably get like $400 from these. Which, you know what? I'll take it. Nice. Perfect. Alright, and I think I'm gonna place this right next to the greenhouse. I might as well. There we 
we go. Very, very good. I don't recall, have we checked the use machinery mark today? Uh, oh. Oh. This right here is a very, very handy trailer. Because you can remove the sides and then you can load it from the side using, well, a front loader attacher. Huh. 62% off. That's a pretty good deal. We just are not producing enough letters <laughs> for that to be worth it. Speaking of letters, I might consider placing down a second greenhouse. Since it seems like we have the money for it. And it's just, it's literally just going to take water. So that might be something that is worth it. Anyway, let's attach this. And we shall sell the final potatoes. And then we will move on to be spreading some lime in this field. And field 47 over here. Which should be a fairly easy job to do. Alright, I've changed it to now be set to tipping on back instead of the green door. Nice. $354. That is... Well, that was <laughs> the potato harvest. I was hoping for a little bit more. But, hey, we got some fun out of harvesting that potato field. It would also appear that this tractor will soon be in need of some refueling. And the repair, for that matter. I will take this turn today. A little bit of a shortcut to the farm. And I think I'll leave the trailer right there all right i just spotted a few weeds over in this field as well so i might as well take care of them and then the ones in this field and that is that i really need a shed soon where i can store all my equipment <laughs> because a lot of it is left out in the open which is not ideal But they are expensive, so I won't go for it just yet. There we go. Now before we start spreading some lime, I'm just gonna take a look at some of the jobs that we have available. There's a contract in field 72 for plowing, which doesn't look too bad. It's also cultivating field 42, which is over here, which actually looks pretty decent. But I don't think I will actually be taking any of these because once I then set a worker to it, all I'll get is probably like a thousand dollars or so, which isn't that much. So I think I'll pass on that. Uh, instead, what we will be doing though is spreading that lime. So in fertilized spreaders right here, these two are going to be uh, our best choices. Um, we will be leasing it, we won't be, be buying any of these. What we also need to get though are big bags of lime, 2,000 liters, one bag of lime, not bad actually. I will buy one, just like that, and then we will go ahead and lease the lime spreaders. Uh, we could fit it all to this, Let, what, let's see, these two are mods by the way. Which, if I remember, I'll try and leave a link uh, down below in the description for these. 1,428. 765. Yeah, I think we'll... I think... I think we'll lease this one. And then what I'll also buy, actually. Uh, if I go into here, combinations. And go all the way back, backlifter. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this pallet fork. So I'll go ahead and attach our trusty front loader, brand new one. 
There we go. I do not have the bucket equipped. And then we will head over to the shop. There we go. Perfect. And I can expand them just like that. So what I'll do right here... I don't know if I... I probably can't do it like this. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to get. But I think I got it. I don't know if I can fill it up like this. Oh, I can! Perfect! So I'll fill this up. Yeah, the whole bag won't get used. And I'll pick up the seat bag as well. Let's see if I can do this in first person, shall we? So if I keep it like that. Yep. Perfect. Ha! We can pick up and transport bags of seed and lime. And we shall pick this up as well. Is there a cover on this thing? So I can change the working width. I can lower it and I can turn it on, but there's no cover. All right, that's fine. Turn on the work lights. No oncoming traffic. Let's head back to the farm. Now, as we're traveling back to the farm, which, by the way, I can barely see the road. <laughs> If you're curious on why we're spreading lime in a field, it basically helps balance the pH level in the field by reducing the acidity levels. I think I'm pronouncing that right. This has a positive impact both on the microbial bacteria. Wow, that's some fancy words. And the absorption of nutrients by plants. So in general, it is good for the field to get some uh, to get some lime sometimes when it's required. To like it says balance the pH uh, balance the pH and reduce their acidity levels so that is why we are spreading the lime um, in these two fields to do just that now where am I gonna place these these bags <laughs> I think I'll lower this for now and then I'll find a place for these bags I guess the ideal place to put them will be inside the barn somewhere Um, hmm. Let's see. Can I open this? I can. I wonder if I can reach that with the tractor, actually. Let me try that. No, that's not doable. Actually, I think I'll place them right here. I think I'll just place them right here. Yeah, I'll leave that there. In fact, I'll leave the whole front loader here. Go ahead and close those doors. There we go. We may need to fill this uh, lime spreader back up. I don't know how much it's actually going to consume. But if we go into the map here and we switch over and disable everything else. As you can see, field 44 and field 47 needs lime. So... Let's take a look at the working width of this thing. I don't know how big it is. Oh, it's huge! It's very big! I did... And it used a lot. It just used a thousand liters just like that. Okay. I need to adjust this. Uh, <laughs> Control C. I'm gonna lower that to... 15... Yeah, 15 meters to get started. Because that was way too quick and I wasted a lot of it. Wow. Okay. Right? We're equipping this again. 
There we go. This should empty the bag, I think. Because we have 2,000 liters per bag, and this thing takes... It might only take 700 liters, actually. Now that I think about it, I think the 1,000 is an extension. Alright, I'll keep the front loader attached, because I <laughs> I'll probably need it again. Yeah, the capacity is 700. So let's see. Let me double check the working width this time. It is set to 15 meters. It is using a lot, but this is much better than before. Alright, that was field 44, and I've used almost all my... Okay, I did waste a lot of the lime at the beginning, because I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> but, that's pretty good. It does, however, appear that I need to buy a little bit more lime in order to do the other field. Yep, there we go, that's that. For this field, I would think that I can change it to 42 meters, and if I just go in the center-ish... It won't last very long, but... I might be able to cover a big area. Let's just experiment with it. Let's see. Let's go out a lot here. Yep. This is actually pretty good. It's gonna run out, like it just did. But I can just buy one more bag, do this again, and then just finish off the, the rest of there. Probably if I just buy one more bag. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I could buy two more bags, which I probably will. I will be needing it eventually. So now... On. Put it like that, and we'll head on over to the shop. All right, here we are. I don't think I'm gonna do the lime spreading with uh, these bags equipped. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll set them down over here somewhere. And here we go again. Almost. <laughs> it runs out so fast. Now what I'm then going to do is I will decrease the working width down to the lowest. Whoops, keep turning that FPS counter on. And then I'll go ahead and take these parts that I've missed. like that. Then over here. And then the final piece right here. And that 
This job well done. Now what I believe I can do, since we have leased this, I can unload it. Oh great, it couldn't it couldn't have done it in a bag. Okay. Well, we're gonna go in, we're gonna return the fertilizer spreader. It was good to use. Very good to use. Now I just need to take these back to the yard. Perfect. All right. Lower this. There we go. Looking good. Just gonna pick up this bag now, which I just did. Perfect. Perfect. And I'll leave the front loader there. Alright, that is pretty much all of our winter jobs done. So we've removed stones in the last episode, we removed the weeds, and we have been spreading lime. The next big job we have is to sow the crops that we want, but that is gonna be in March. So that is gonna take a few months. In the meantime, we might skip a few months where I just skip them because we have nothing else to do but I might look at some contracts here and then and see if there's anything worth taking there's a cultivation job which we could do in field 42 which is right over here which I think I'll take I'm not gonna put a worker to it I'll borrow the items which means we should get about 2200 and something so, yeah, let's do a little bit of cultivating. And we will be enjoying the John Deere 310. And this is a pretty big cultivator, so this should be fairly quick. Just for fun, I will time it. Then we will see how, how fast this job actually is. Pick that up. Attach this beast of a cultivator. There we go. And we are off to field 42. I find the design in John Deere's tractors very strange. It has an older feel to it while still feeling very modern and s simple. I really, really like the John Deere design. I've never sat in a John Deere tractor in real life. At least not yet. Hopefully I will. <laughs> But yeah, I just really, really like the design on the of the interior. Oh, that's a satisfying indicator sound too. All right, there should be a path. Oh, this bridge, in fact. And I make it over. I should be able to. And it is the field here on my left. All right. Let's unfold this. Lower it down. Yeah, this shouldn't take any time at all. This should be a fairly quick job to do, actually. Easy $2,000. Mainly because we've been given this huge equipment.
There's the train on the left. Driving past. I don't think I've ever seen the train before. Like myself. Very, very cool. Alright. Raise it up. Alright. I'm gonna do this. It shouldn't take too long. I'll time it. And let's see how... Whoops. Well, the more I mess up, the longer it's gonna take. <laughs> I'll see you at the end of it. Alright, two more passes, this one and one more, and this field is done. So far it has only taken me 11 minutes, which actually isn't too bad. This equipment is big and the field isn't too big for the equipment. I actually really like this. This is a pretty cool setup. It says the contract is finished, so I could just finish it now, but that would be a little bit mean leaving this in the middle of the field. So I will finish this off completely. But yeah, using this equipment has been really, really good. Oh, come on. Alright, this final piece right here, and we're done. And it seems like we're just done just before the sun sets, which is perfect. Don't want to miss pieces on the final go here. But I think we are good. Yep. Perfect. Fold that up. This has been a really good setup. So we should get $2,265 from that contract. Nice. So I think that is going to do it for this episode. Our farm is completely ready for putting in the oats and in March and in April, put in the soybeans. Yep, oats in March. And soybeans in April. So we are completely ready. I just checked the used machinery market. What do we have here? A McCormack X8. Or the McCormack X8. For 92,264 horsepower. That's a great deal. That's a really good deal. Wow. If only we had the money for it. This would be a great tractor to have. We wouldn't need to worry about horsepower for quite a while. But yeah, don't quite have the money for that, unfortunately. But anyways, guys, as the sun sets, I hope you have... Oh, dear. I left the work beacons on. That's not good. 
don't want to come down to a dead battery. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And enable those notifications so you don't miss another upload. But anyways, I hope to see you in the next one. In the next episode, we might skip a few months forward to March because we won't really have much to do in February. So we might skip that month, but we shall see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.